I'm Elizabeth, and this is another video about prepper stuff for the non-prepper. Um, I don't consider myself to be a prepper, um, but I do think it's important for people to be prepared for things like weather emergencies or, um, you know, a supply chain disruption where the store doesn't have what you need. Um, today we're going to be talking about sternos. Uh, these are also called canned heat. And they're a really useful item um, because they allow you to either heat up or cook food indoors. They're most commonly used for fondue pots or chafing dishes, like that you would, those big, um, uh, big plates of food, uh, big platters of food that you'd have on a buffet, and they're heated from underneath. Um, you do need something for the food to go on, and that could be a stainless steel uh, rack, and then you have a pot on top of that. Um, but what you can do if you don't have anything like that is arrange the racks in your oven so that the sterno is on a lower rack or it's sitting on the floor of the oven and then whatever you're warming up is higher up um, on a rack above this. Uh, you want it to be um, maybe a few inches above it. Um, these will last um, about 45 minutes. Um, you can sometimes get a little bit more out of them, but, but don't count on it. You know, assume each one will be 45 minutes. Uh, if you see the different uh, versions of them, there's like an outdoor version for people who are camping or, or take it backpacking. And then there's also the, the regular one. These are exactly the same. They're the same size, they're the same weight, they're the same volume, the same everything. So um, whichever one you can get, um, they're exactly the same. They run about, about $10 each. The lids, as you can see, um, I, I loosened this lid. Um, they have like, like a paint can type lid and you just use a flat screwdriver uh, to lift that lid off. And inside of it, you can see it's like a pinkish purple gel. And that gel is the fuel. And that's what you, you light when you use these. I'm going to use, you can use matches or, or a regular lighter, but I'm going to use a long, like a fireplace kind of lighter, uh, just so I'm, I'm keeping my hands back from it. I'm going to turn that on, and it, it should light pretty quickly. There, that's lit. You can't really, you can't really see it very well, but there is a flame there, and it's like a translucent blue flame. This is a very hot Flame. So, you know, be careful with this and um, keep, you know, obviously keep kids well away from this because especially if you have something above it, uh, because you can't really see the flame, they tend to put their fingers between um, whatever you're heating up and the sterno. So that's the sterno lit. Again, it's very hot um, and you can actually boil water with these. If you were using candles, like if you had tea lights, you would need eight or ten of them to get even a small amount of water up to a boil, but with these you can you can boil um, you can boil water much more easily. They do work better just for heating something up, like heating up canned soup or, or canned pasta. Um, but you can actually cook with these if you need to. You can you can cook meat out of the freezer or something like that. To put the sterno out, uh, you can put something over it, a piece of aluminum foil, um, the lid from a saucepan. But I just very carefully put the lid back on. Um, watch your fingers, just throw it back on, tap it in place, and it's out. Yep, that's out. So that's really, um, that's all you need to know about sternos. They're, they're a simple, um, easy thing. They can sit for years. They can sit in a hot garage. It's not gonna bother them. Um, and they're relatively inexpensive compared to getting a full like camping stove and propane tanks. Um, that's, that's it. And I'd like to thank you for watching.